Hello everyone and welcome back to the third part of Fusion 360 Joint. Um, today I'm going to talk about a poll and a planner. Uh, okay, so let's start. Um, if you look at this uh, mirror that I've created here, a mirror for a bicycle or something like that, uh, let's see what it's actually doing. Just a second. Um, okay, so you can see I can move the mirror everywhere I actually want. And that is thanks to the ball joint, which is actually a really amazing joint. It's a very special one. And uh, I'll show you in a moment uh, why. And let's go into the joint and see how it's actually built. Let's go into the edit joint. And uh, actually, no, I want to go to the joint limitation because here you can actually see that we're not talking about any more like axes. We're talking about more motions, motions, pitch, yo, and roll. And this is really cool. You can actually limit it if you want. Um, but uh, let's uh, build it first. And maybe we can play with it a little bit. And you can see, it's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna just um, delete this one. Delete. And uh, rigid here, it's for the mirror and the housing. So I'm not gonna play with it. You can see. Okay, let's uh, start. So as usual, because I already positioned it where I want it, I build it inside, you know, uh, where it's gonna be uh, connected. So uh, I'm gonna use s build joint and I'm gonna choose bowl. So I want this part. I want it inside this one. And I'll select position. So uh, the position it's going to be right in the middle here. As you can see, I can click on the control and then I can freeze it, see? Uh, because if not, let's see what's going to happen if I'm going to choose, let's see, uh, um, I don't know, yeah, this position, for example, you see, it's going to roll around another point. And I don't want this one. I want right here, that center. This one. But here we go. And this is exactly the motion that I want. You can play it again if I want. Perfect. And then, yeah, this is it. It's, it's very simple. Um, yeah, you can use it all, all different kind of applications uh, that you need. Um, and that was actually a pretty good classic example um, for, for Miro that needs to move to different kind of directions. And if it's really too much, <clears throat> sorry, uh, then we can just uh, show you before, we can go to the, um, sorry, ball here go to the joint limitations and then we can just uh, play with uh, for example pitch uh, yo and roll let's see what the pitch is gonna look like and now it's in zero zero so we cannot really play with it so let's see if we drag this one it's actually almost like in the aeroplane this is the pitch pitch and yo and everything so this is the limitations, for example. So it's minus 50 and 10 degrees. Okay, that looks actually nice. And let's go to the uh, yo. And let's see what the yo is actually doing. Um, okay, if we have it here. Let's see if we can give it, let's see, minus 50, I recall, and this one was 10. So let's see, play it. Okay. And now we're going to go to the roll. So uh, now it's 0, 0. The roll, it's right here. This is the roll. And I'm gonna give it minus 50. 
and 10. Let's animate it. Okay, now let's see the results. What we can or cannot do, as you can see here, we kind of limited it. That's nice, actually. But if I want, you know, I can always I can always change it if you think it's too much. And um, there is another thing I haven't talked about it yet, and this is the uh, contact set. Uh, I don't know. I thought about maybe I'm gonna do something specific uh, for this one. It's a quite very very special, very neat uh, functionality in Fusion. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Um, you know what? Let me show you what it's actually doing. So I'm gonna remove all the limitations. Just do like this and roll. Okay. Now I'm just gonna put it back where it was before. Yep. And now we're gonna create a. We're gonna enable it first. Enable contact set. As you can see here, contact set is here. And we're going to new contact set. Now it's asking bodies or components. So we're gonna use this one. And I want contact set between this one and this one. Okay. <clears throat> Now, because it's pretty much, it can move almost freely, uh, but let's see what's going to happen if I'm going to try, this is blocked, this is not moving, it's grounded, but you see, if I'm going to, if I want to try to move it, uh, uh, you see, it's going to get stuck here, because there is a contact here, it's like in real life, basically what it's simulating here with contact set, it's real life, uh, motions. In contact obviously we cannot move it further than this um, because that's it there's no more place here and let's see if I'm gonna move it uh, backwards see what's gonna happen see it's the same uh, we cannot move it uh, any further because there is a contact here and uh, the same goes for the uh, top and bottom and everywhere everywhere where there is contact between those two it's gonna stop like in real life which is brilliant but you have to be quite careful because it's uh it takes a lot of resource from the uh, from the computer for fusion so if you're gonna create a lot of these you're gonna have kind of a performance uh, i can promise you you're gonna feel the performance uh, you're gonna gonna go down very very fast so um, if you want to use it that's fine but don't forget to uh, to turn it off uh, it's really nice because <laughs> you know it can really save you a lot of time uh, playing with uh, different limitations but on the other hand it's gonna take a lot of resource from your computer so uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna need a really strong computer if you want to have it uh, Oh, you know all the time uh, on the enable position uh, because yeah I've tried that and it, it's known um, in fusion they know about it I believe they're going to improve it uh, with time but uh, but for now it's still it's really really been a really nice uh, option to have it and to play with it and sometimes to test you know uh, the way you build the part how it's gonna actually react in real life maybe I need to create, for example, this neck here. Maybe I need to create it a little bit smaller, or maybe I need to open it here a little bit wider so it can roll a little bit more, uh, or any kind of other designs, you know? So it's really nice. You can test before you're actually, um, you know, creating also the limitations. If you want to create a limitation for a part, but you're not quite sure 100% you know how much it's uh, it's going to be also in real life uh, so you can just go in and, and test with the uh, contact set and see ah okay i can see i have only 138 degrees i can move it this direction okay fine then you can just turn it off and then go to the limitation and use the data and then you know it's going to be like a real life uh, experience so uh, but try not to uh, not to 
keep it on all the time because it's gonna take a lot of uh, um, resources from your uh, CPU. Uh, but it's uh, yeah. But now you also know how to, to use the contact set. It's very very simple as you can see, and it's really really brilliant uh, option. So I'm gonna disable this for now. See it disappears, and if I'm gonna turn it back on, boom, then it's back, and. Also the contact set, it's back. So it's not, if you're gonna disable it, it's not gonna disappear and you're gonna have to create it again. It's still here. So uh, I guess they made this uh, in pur on purpose. So uh, because they know that you cannot leave it on all the time. So if you create a contact set, it's gonna be saved after, you know, just disabling it. We don't, we're not deleting anything. So we're just gonna disable it because I don't want it to take even more resources so this is about the uh, ball joint and contact set. <coughs> contact set. Next, we're going to look at the uh, planner. It's actually much more, it's very simple. Um, it's actually the way it's, yeah, it's very self-explanatory. We just moving around uh, plan. This is the, the motion. We're moving, for example, here on the XZ plan. This is it give us some kind of freedom um, I don't know what else kind of what kind of uh, application you can use it for uh, I'm sure one of you can use it or you can use it in combination with something else but let's uh, see how we're gonna uh, how we're gonna create it so I'm just gonna delete this one Oops. and now we're going to SBL joint the usual we're using the position um, that we already have here and now we're going to change it to planner so i want this component to be planner on this one and now he's asking me for yeah the position or reference if i'm i can also choose here basically it's the same you can see it's flat it's going to be which means it's going to be on the z and x plane I don't have any other option uh, here. If, if it, this one was square with another box, then I had other uh, options, but this one is wrong one. I'm just gonna choose this one and it's showing you already how it's gonna look like. And, uh, and that's it. And as you know, like all the others, um, all the other joints, you can always come here and edit the uh, rotations and slides uh, the direction you can limit it let's see for example uh, let's try the rotation and see what's actually doing yeah because for example here you can see it's it's, it's rotating also around itself around the y so we can limit it this one but uh, actually you know what i don't really care about this one so let's see about the slide and um, let's see what's going to happen uh, we can limit the slides, for example, to here. And so we can say 95 and minus 95 and 95 to so both directions. Boom. And another slide to the other direction. See? Uh, can drag it and see. all the way to this corner here and then another one here so it's minus 45 and 45 and simulate it and it looks nice and click OK and now see I cannot go outside the dimension that I um, just uh, created it's kind of limited looks really nice I like it you can play you can maybe you can make some uh, games with it and you know what let's try something i'm going to i haven't tried it before i'm gonna delete this joint and i'm gonna delete, delete this one as well this component i'll create a new component and uh, just for fun i want to see how it's gonna work i'm gonna create a sphere here uh, oh. 
okay let's see okay to this one and it's a bit too high so I would like to move it up this seems about right you can see it snaps actually so I don't need to play with it anymore and now oh second I'm gonna capture the position yes And yes, now we're back to the root. Looks really nice. It's moving everywhere. Now we can just try and let's create a new planner. This one and this one. Now you're looking for position. Let's see if I have something else. Let's choose this one. Okay. That looks nice. So now we can, uh, you know, play can have kind of a balls inside boxes and you can see how they actually moving and it's actually could have been really cool if we had uh, a little bit more uh, kind of uh, motions if I'm tilting for example um, a box then you could like you know see the balls moving around uh, and like before if you want you can just you know limit where the ball is gonna uh, stop and uh, yeah just play with it so <clears throat> that's it basically for now I don't have any more about uh, those two joints you can combine them with other joints especially this one the planner it can be uh, practical and uh, yeah if you have any questions uh, huh. yeah regarding any of those joints or if you want to know more about joints so just let me know write it down in the uh, below in the, in the comment section and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.